Hello, and welcome to the Take Action Partners discovery call for this evening. My name is Nick Allegro. I am a director with United Financial. And tonight we are very, very fortunate to have with us to give the presentation one of the, the first partner with UFF and has been with the company since 2007. Uh, she's married, she's got a couple of dogs, a couple of birds, um, uh, a loud child <laughs> once in a while, so you may hear somebody, and, and a, uh, a very intelligent husband, and her name is Joan Hackenstadt, and Joan is a, is a leader in our business and knows this business inside now. What I would suggest is sit back, there's nothing to buy, nothing to join, sit back, get a piece of paper and a pen, write down any questions that you have. And when the presentation is done, make sure you get back with the person who invited you here and they will be able to answer the questions for you. So without anything further, I'm gonna turn this over to Dr. Joan Hackenstadt. Dr. Joan, it's all yours. Thank you, Nick. I really appreciate the introduction. And yes, I do have an extremely loud child and quite frankly, a loud husband. So if you hear some noise in the background, well, Welcome to my home. I'm actually in the basement where I can be a little bit quieter because my birds were extremely loud and obnoxious today. So I'm trying to get away from them so that they are not in the background squawking. So, but if you hear them, yep, those are my birds, nothing I can do, so sorry. But thank you so much for joining us today. I'm so grateful for you guys to be here and I'm really excited about what we have to talk about. We're talking about debt. Now, Nick, the person that just introduced me that was kind enough to introduce me, um, known him for a long time and when we are on face-to-face -face zoom calls in the background he, he's a musician and in the background he has an elephant it's a polka dot elephant in the middle of the room and so i was hoping we'd do a little bit of videos today but being i'm in the basement probably not a good idea uh so but i do want to talk about the elephant in the middle of the room so let's start talking about debt Social Security Administration years ago did a study where they actually tracked 40, or I'm sorry, 100 people over the course of 40 years. And they came, they discovered some very sobering information. First, at the end of 40 years of work, 54 people were broke. They were dependent on Social Security, relatives, friends, charities, just to make it through the, the month. 36, unfortunately, were dead. They were deceased after the 40 years. They didn't even get to enjoy the full 40 years of work. Five will need to continue to work or needed to continue to work after those 40 years. Four were financially secure. And one, only one out of 100 people was wealthy. So what does that tell us? When we look after 100 people and 40 years of working, only 5% will be successful financially. 95% of people are going to end up dead or dead broke. That's a horrible, sobering reality. And the reality is also that it's because we have little to no education in our school system. Now, when I went to school many years ago, mind you, I remember being taught how to write a check but I was never taught how to make sure there was money in the checking account to cover the check that I just learned how to write. And I remember also that day that I learned how to write a check, I came home and I'm like, mom, 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 guess what? I just learned how to have, write a check. Can I have one? Can I go, uh, can I go buy something? I, I just want a check, just let me have a check. My mom's like, uh, no, <laughs> not quite how it works, but thank you for playing. We have no education in school about finances, and yet finances are the foundation of everybody's household. No wonder finances are the number one cause of divorce. No wonder finances are the number one cause of stress. They lead to physiological changes and physiological issues in our body as well. Finances can hurt us, and yet we don't teach about it, and it causes us to be at an all-time high of debt. We've turned into a society where the American way of life is we buy things we don't need with money we don't have to impress people we don't know. And the result is, of course, debt. Now, the good news is if you're watching this webinar, you probably want to get out of debt. You're not alone. The vast majority of Americans are drowning in debt. 
and yet they don't do anything about it because they don't know where to start. You, you are doing something about it. So congratulations. Debt is a big business. The less we know about how to manage debt, the more profit big institutions make off of us. Although debt helps us pay for things we want when we don't have the money for it, debt actually costs us our future if we don't understand the difference between good debt and bad debt, or if we don't know how to pay off that debt. So it seems like no matter what we do, you can't really get any progress on your debt. Do you ever feel like that? Well, it's because it's set up that way on purpose. Even marketing has adjusted to accommodate us being in debt. They no longer advertise how much something actually costs in terms of total amount. They actually advertise based on what the minimum payment is. They're teaching us and reinforcing the fact that big business wants to make money on us. Can you make the monthly payments? No problem. Just buy what we have. And then they know that you're going to end up making the minimum monthly payments and then they make a lot of money off of you. But like I said, you're here. You have a desire to get out of debt. Congratulations. Now, if you've done any research, you know that traditionally what we're told when we want to pay off debt is, hey, consolidate your debt for lower monthly payments or go in and refinance to a lower interest rate. Those are two great approaches, but the reality is most people, when they do that refi or when they consolidate their debt, they continue to make the minimum payment. So all they did was elongate the problem. All they did was make it longer and restart the, the clock on their debt. Now, if you talk to the financial group or, you know, maybe you learned about the biweekly program, and I love the biweekly program. I actually think it's a fantastic thing to do, but what a lot of people, so if you don't know what a biweekly program is, you have a monthly payment that you're making, you take that, you cut it in half, and you send that half payment every two weeks. So you end up at the end of the year sending an extra payment. Well, that's fantastic. There's no, there's really no magic to paying down debt. You have to send extra money. The challenge is most people believe when they're doing a biweekly payment that they're shaving off and they're cutting that term in half. And that's just not correct. Mathematically, that is an impossibility. On average, the biweekly payment will shave off about six years on a 30-year mortgage. So instead of being paid off in 30 years, you're being paid off in 24. Now, again, that's fantastic. You're ahead of schedule. You're doing something to pay down debt. That's wonderful. Keep it up. Now, if you do look at the financial gurus out there, they give some great advice. And I, I don't say that mockingly. I actually genuinely believe that they give really good advice because their heart is in it. They really want to make sure people get out of debt. So one of the financial gurus says, hey, reduce your standard, standard of living. Eat those ramen noodles. Don't enjoy your life. And save every extra penny that you have. And when you have an extra penny, send it to debt. And I tell you, when I graduated college, I had a whole whopping $10,000 worth of student loans. Now, back then, that was a massive amount for me, <laughs> just massive. I felt like I was drowning in, that, in those student loans. And I did exactly what that financial guru said. I stopped living life. I ate ramen noodles. And let me tell you, if I have to eat another one, I may have a little PTSD. So, but I did it and I paid off those $10,000 of, of credit cards. It worked. I didn't get to enjoy life, but it worked. Now, the financial gurus say when you have extra money, one of them says, send that extra money over to the debt with the highest interest. The other financial guru says, no, 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 that's just plain silly. Don't target the debt with the highest interest. Target the debt with the lowest payment or with the lowest balance. Once you get it paid off, roll it over and then target the next debt with the lowest balance. So you have competing financial gurus giving phenomenal advice. How do you know what to do? How do you know what's right for you in your situation? The reality is there is one mathematical equation to find the fastest way to pay down the debt. And that mathematical equation is at your fingertips. It's inside the Money Max account system. The Money Max account is not about refinancing. We don't refinance or, or do any type of debt consolidation or negotiation, none of that. There's no change to your standard of living, so you don't have to go, buy, go out and invest in ramen noodles. There's not, it's not a bi-weekly payment, it's not a debt roll down or a concept or a theory, but what it is, is a web-based financial GPS. This system looks at money coming in, money going out. It looks at all of the variables based on your timing of your, your monthly movements of, of household cash flow, as well as all the variables associated with your debt. And it mathematically finds that one mathematical solution for you to pay off your debt in the fastest time frame possible. It then shows you 
step by step, turn by turn, exactly how to do just that. Become debt free in the shortest time frame possible. It's an individualized plan for your situation. No more guessing. What should I do? Should I target the highest interest rate? Should I target the lowest debt? You know, it takes all the guesswork out of it. It does it for you because it's not based on magic. It's just based on math. That's what a mathematical equation is all about. Your finances are math, which unfortunately is probably why many of us never get ahead financially because many of us are really challenged when it comes to math. Now, there's a lot of us that are pretty darn good at it out there, and that's fantastic. Congratulations if that's you. We have a, a lot of people out there that can pay down debt. The key is, are you sending the right amount to the right debt at the right time? So let's educate a little bit about debt, and let's look at an amortization schedule. So for the next couple minutes, I'm going to talk about a mortgage with a $300,000 balance at 4% interest with a monthly payment of $1,432.25. Now, I'm going to keep it pretty simple, so I'm not going to talk about the $0.25. Cents. I'm going to solely talk about $1,432, and it's over a 30-year time frame. So this is the amortization schedule for that mortgage. You'll notice at the end of year one, you've had 69% of your payment going to interest. That's the interest that you paid in year one. Now remember, this was a 4% interest rate, right? Year five, 63%. Year 10, you're at 55%. Year 15, you're at a 46% interest rate. There's got to be a better way. And I'm so happy to say, yes, it is. So how are they claiming this to be a 4% interest rate, yet we're really being charged so much more of our payment for interest? Let's look a little bit closer at the actual breakdown of that payment. So $1,432.25. Of that first payment, $432 goes to principal. $1,000 goes to interest. That's 70% of your payment that went to interest, that 70% profit for those banks. Now, it's gonna sound like I don't like banks. I actually do love banks. I think they do a phenomenal job for our country and for us. They allow us to be in a position we aren't able to be in otherwise. I just think that that is highway robbery. Charging 70% interest, incredible. But don't worry, you're on a roll in month number two. Now you have a whole whopping $2 more going to principal. Woo woo, you're on a roll. <laughs> Now you have 434 going to principal and 998 going to interest. Year one, you've paid $17,187 and 5,200 of it went to principal. Year five, $85,000 paid and only 28,000 of it went to interest. That's 57, I'm sorry, it went to principal. That's $57,000 that went to interest. So do you have any idea how long it takes to get halfway through this mortgage? You'd think it'd probably be 15 years, right? Nope, nope. In this situation with a 4% mortgage, it takes 19 years and three months. You've now paid $330,000 in monthly payments. And your balance still remaining is $149,966. You're only now at the halfway mark. Remember, that original principal balance was 300 grand, and you're gonna end up paying 515,000. That is 72% interest that you're handing over to the bank for the privilege of borrowing that 300,000. Again, I'm all for banks and doing what they're doing. I just think that that's excessive. I think that we work hard for our money and we deserve to keep more of that money in our pocket as opposed to handing it over to the bank. So how can we jump ahead in this mortgage amortization schedule? Well, breaking this down, let's say you just got a new mortgage. It's a $300,000 mortgage at 4%. You have not even made one single payment on this mortgage. Well, see how it's broken down? 1,000 goes to interest and 432 goes to principal? Let's play a big game of what if. What if you had the financial capability of paying all of this amount of interest up front. That amounts, if you add this up, that's $2,615. Now, I understand a lot of people don't have that financial capability. I get that. I'm not, I'm not just creating money out of thin air. I'm not, I promise. 
but we're just playing a little game of what if. Well, these, the interest and the principal are not tied together. They're broken up. If you pay this interest, or I'm sorry, this principal, that cancels out all of that interest. Gone. So no more with that $1,000. No more with the $998. <clears throat> no more with the $997. All of this interest is gone. That one-time investment of $2,615 just saved you $5,979. That's a pretty good return on investment. So why don't we do this more often? Well, because most people don't have that $2,615. Our program does not just create money out of, out of air, don't worry. We're gonna review very quickly some of the strategies behind the system. But our system is about making sure that every single penny, nickel, dime, quarter, dollar, is either canceling interest or earning interest. Our program combines banking strategies with advanced math and innovative technology to make sure that your money starts to bank like a bank. It's about reversing those rules of banking into your favor so that you can pay off that debt as quickly as possible and save as much money in interest as possible. Now there are four requirements to use our system. Need debt. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> most people have that, that works out well. You need a checking account, you need a savings account, and you need the program. Now, uh, we do have a, an optional approach to use a line of credit, either a home equity line of credit, personal line of credit, or business line of credit. And if you have that, fantastic. That will actually replace your checking and savings. It is not a requirement, though. So with that in mind, let's talk a little bit about how it would work if you did, in fact, use checking and savings. In fact, 70% of our clients use checking and savings. We, our system is based on a lot of different money saving strategies. We're gonna talk about four of them today. Interest accumulation, interest float, interest cancellation, and strategic debt payoff. So let's look at one possible scenario. We love John and Rebecca Jones. Let's say John and Rebecca Jones have $5,000 worth of income. They have $4,800 of expenses and about $200 left over at the end of the month. Now that varies, sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less, it's just an average. Sometimes those expenses are more and sometimes they're less. We're gonna target one debt right now. We're gonna keep it nice and simple. One mortgage, $200,000 balance. Now it's an interest rate of 6%, just to show you that we can tackle any type of interest rate. Payment each month is $1,199.10 and the term is over a 30 year time frame. Now we're gonna practice a little bit of float, so we're gonna include a credit card. This part is optional, but we wanna show you one of the strategies that can be used with the system. So month number one, we've got that $200,000 mortgage. Our paycheck comes in for $5,000. Our system, again, looks at money coming in and money going out, and it's gonna mathematically find the best use of our money. So the system says, you know what? Let's not have our money sitting in checking. Let's go ahead and move it over to our savings account. So it moves that 5,000 from our checking to our savings where we can start to accrue interest. In the meantime, we're gonna put anything and everything we possibly can onto that credit card. And we're gonna practice what's called interest float. So all $4,800 worth of our expenses are on that credit card. That includes our mortgage payment. So we make that payment of $1,199.10. The principal balance goes down by a whole whopping $199. And our money has been able to sit in our savings account accruing interest for 30 days as well. We earned at 2%, $8. So now we have some interest accumulation. Month number two rolls around. We now get that check again for $5,000. Now, let me ask you a question. If you start off with a credit card with a zero balance, you put debt on there and then you pay it off in full, how much interest do you pay? Zero, that's called interest float. So the system says, let's go ahead and pay off that credit card in full. It's gonna say, send $4,800 from your checking over to that credit card and pay it off in full. Now you've allowed yourself to borrow money at 0% interest for 30 days while your money is sat in your savings account accruing interest for 30 days. That's called arbitrage. You just started to bank like the bank. Now the system says, hey, you're paying a lot of interest on that mortgage. Let's start paying it down. It tells you to move money from your savings over to your checking account. In this situation, this month, it says $3,789 to be exact. Now, 
it's going to say, take that money from your checking and apply it over to your mortgage. We're now canceling interest on that mortgage. That one payment of $3,989 eliminated 16 payments and saved you $18,000 of savings. That's a pretty good amount of interest cancellation. And this is only month number two. Now you're thinking, well, hold on, I still have to live. How do I live? Well, remember, we're still putting all of our monthly expenses onto that credit card and we're paying it off in full the next month before the due date. So in this situation, we had $199,000 balance. After we made that additional payment of $39.89, the balance was reduced to $195. Before we had 358 payments remaining. Now we only have 342. We eliminated 16 payments by that one transfer of money. And originally we were set to pay $231,000 in interest. Now we're down to 212. We just wiped out 18 grand in interest. Side-by-side -side comparison using this, this program in this situation, starting balance of the mortgage both at $200,000. In one year doing what the banks want you to do, this person would have a balance of $197,000. Using the program, their balance is down to $184,000. It would take 5.5 years of doing what the bank wants you to do to even come close to having the same balance as the system provided in one year of using it. Total time payoff, 30 years with that conventional mortgage. In this situation, and everybody's situation is different, paid off in 10.4 years. Instead of paying $231,000 in interest, which is what the banks want you to do, our system cut out $167,000 in interest, and, and you only ended up paying $70,000. This is a side-by-side by comparison of what you were doing with the banks versus what the system could do in this situation. Now remember, everybody's situation is different because most people don't have one debt. And in fact, when you look at multiple debts, it's rather difficult to decide which debt do I pay off? Remember when we were first starting, starting to talk, we asked, you know, gosh, what would the, the financial gurus say? Well, in this situation, which debt would you pay off and why? How do you know you're choosing the right one? The reality is, and this comes down to strategic debt payoff, the reality is that the wrong decision is going to cost you time and money. The average person has 13 active creditors, 13. That means that every single month, there are over 6 billion different potential combinations to pay off that debt. What is the likelihood that you're going to make the right decision every single time? I'm sure you can see why we've been recognized throughout many different nationally recognized uh, magazines and publications, why we've been on numerous different news broadcasts and radio shows, but really probably the best national recognition that we could possibly have gotten is Ernst & Young. Ernst & Young came knocking on our door back in 2008 and did some intensive due diligence. They're actually responsible for auditing publicly traded companies and ensuring that they are doing what's right for the consumer. They're in charge of consumer oversight protection. So when they came to our doors, they wanted to look at and ensure that our company was doing everything that we say that we're doing. They went through our financials. They sat down with their executive team. They had their financial planners and accountants scour through our program. And after their extensive due diligence, not only did they find that we're a debt-free company, we practice what we preach, our executive team's pretty darn good, and our customer service, dang, it is exceptional. They also found that we are doing what we say we're doing. We're helping people pay off their loans in as little as one-third to one-half the time. And they were so impressed by us, they awarded us the Ernst & Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award 2008 Utah Region for Financial Services. This is a similar award that's been given to Apple, Starbucks, eBay, Microsoft, and many other companies that are nationally recognized. We're in good company, what can we say? And it's all about having a financial GPS. Have you ever used a GPS in your car to get where you want to go? Most people have. You know you input the address where you want to go. It gives you turn-by-turn -turn directions on how to get there. Imagine that type of technology for your finances. That's what we provide. 
You simply tell the system how much you owe for how long, what your interest rate types are, and are they fixed, adjustable, simple, amortized, whatever, incomes, how many, how often, how much, is it commission-based, what's coming down the road, and even when those unexpected expenses happen, you simply tell the system, and it will recalculate. Now, all of these things are initially gathered in your initial analysis. Before you would even buy the program, we would want to make sure you qualify for the program. Because this financial GPS is going to guide you on the fastest way. And if it doesn't qualify, if you don't qualify, it's not a good fit. But our GPS, just like the GPS in your car, guides you to make all the turns, the, G the MMA guides you to pay off all your debt. Just like the GPA takes away the stress of deciding which route to take when obstacles happen, the MMA takes away the stress when complicated financial decisions come up. Your GPS in your car helps you, helps you stay focused on the road. So does our MMA. It helps you stay on, focused on your financial plan, your roadmap to becoming debt-free. Just like that GPS tracks your success as you follow the route, so does our system. It tracks your success throughout the program. Your GPS in your car gives you the exact time you're going to arrive at your destination. Our system tells you the exact month, day, year that you will be debt-free. This is math. It's all about the math. And our system's going to guide you on making that math a reality. And it can be updated in as little as 20 minutes per month. To date, our clients, we have helped pay down over $2 billion worth of principal. That's not just interest savings or any interest savings. That's solely principal that we've helped to pay down. Because the reality is no matter what your financial goals are, the only way you can achieve any financial goal is to have debt elimination. Debt will strip you of your ability to reach any potential goal. Take that out of the equation. The average person has 39 cents of every dollar earned going to solely pay interest on their debt. 39 cents for every dollar earned used to just pay interest. Can you imagine having a 39% raise? No additional work. You're not having to work more. You're not having to work longer hours. You're just getting rid of that debt. And the average person would have a 39% raise. Now, will this system work for you? I truly don't know. The best thing that you can do is to have a free analysis. Your agent that invited you to this call will complete a side-by-side -side comparison of what you're currently doing versus what the system can do for you. That way you can make an educated decision about whether or not the system is right for you. So get back in touch with the person that invited you to this meeting and have your free analysis report completed. Thank you so very much for joining us today. I am so excited to help you be one of the first to show that you can get out of debt in a time that you probably never would have even imagined possible. I hope that you will take the time to see how this can benefit you. The analysis is free. Take that time. See if it's a good fit. Make an educated decision for your family and get on the road to financial freedom. We are on a mission to buy back America one family at a time. Thank you so much for joining us today. Again, get back with the person that invited you to this meeting and get your free analysis completed. Have an incredible day. Bye-bye.